Hi, my name is Ruby Sweetman, an instructor in Native Arts and Culture program, and I'm going to talk about Inuit art. So first, prehistoric carvings were produced by shaman in rituals, creating amulets. So their carvings would have been quite small, uh, made out of bone, antler, or stone. And those were often worn on a belt or a string of the shaman as a part of like their equipment or their teaching tools. It could have been a toy, gifts, hair combs, or even sewing kits. So they would make like needles. Um, most items were kept small because of the Inuit's uh, nomadic lifestyle. So traveling and things like that, you wouldn't want to carry around a large sculpt sculpture. So the prehistoric period is from the 1770s to the 1940s, where the people, uh, the Inuit people, were exposed to whalers, traders, and missionaries, and they collected Inuit art for artifacts. Into the 1800s, carvings were created for the tourist trade, and then we have the contemporary period so in the 1940s Inuit art began to be quite popular and the federal government sponsored exhibitions to promote Inuit art as a way of uh, raising the economic development in the Canadian Arctic so that's where they started to make the large sculptures of soapstone for trade and for collections.